Welcome back to the Coyote Car Channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use one of these beautiful babies. Something that uh, I'm thankful for, I have to say myself. My wife isn't, but I'm thankful. I am thankful for this, this piece of machinery. And I'm going to show you why today. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So stay tuned. So not only is this video going to show you how to use a press, but it's also going to teach you how to remove U-joints. The first thing you're going to want to do when you're dealing with a U-joint is you're going to want to grab some penetrating fluid of some sort and you're going to want to saturate where the uh, coils are. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of want to pry around and um, work at it a little bit. So you're going to want to take a set of needle nose pliers and you're going to grab the clip. Not all U-joints uh, have clips um, on the outside. Sometimes they'll have little C-clips on the inside. So make sure you look for either these kind or the C-clip style that clamp onto there. And so now, as you can see, the cap ro does not rotate, but the actual U-joint does. So let's take it over to the press and I'll show you how to use that. So the hydraulic press is made up of a few things. Um, you've got the bottle jack here, which you can operate by pumping up and down like a regular jack and then releasing with this tab right here. And then what you can do is you can adjust this plate up and down to the various different areas and there's a rod on each side that you can pull out, lift up, and then move to whatever specific location you want. Also, I've attached a set of magnets up here so that way I can easily grab my rod. And the next thing you want to do is you want to find a socket big enough to fit over the cup of this so it will catch it in there. And you're going to want to find another socket that will fit within the diameter of the actual U-joint. And then it's just a matter of lining everything up and uh, getting the jack down to where it needs to be. And just another tip, you should most definitely be wearing safety glasses. I'm off camera right now, but I am most definitely wearing safety glasses. Happy Thanksgiving. You can be thankful for your eyesight today. So once it touches, you want to go very slow at this point. You don't want to start cracking anything or anything like that. You just want to kind of straighten this out here and then just slowly start, keep working it down with your hand until you can't anymore. And then go ahead and take your rod and put that in the jack and just slowly start working it out. I like to keep a hold on it. There was a noise there so we know that it broke through the first layer. Okay, we can see it moving. It's going down nicely. That penetrating fluid really does help. Loosens it up the bonds while you're breaking through it. And once you've got most of the way through it, you want to get down and kind of inspect. So I'm not quite all the way down through there. So as you can see right here, I'm not actually quite all the way down yet, so I'm just gonna, there's one, two, three, four, so it's moving down. Okay, now I felt a little bit of a clunk, so I'm gonna give it one more, and then we're gonna release the pressure. We're gonna look. Lift it up just like that. Now we're going to take our rod off, pull this out, see where we're at. So right here, this cap is now pretty loose, but it's not loose for me to just grab it and pull it off. Um, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some pliers and I remove this. What? I didn't wish for vice grips. Alright. You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. Okay, and then it just came off like that. So Set that aside. It's got grease in it. Sometimes it might have rust. Then what you're going to do so once that's pushed through, now you're basically going to turn around and you're going to find a socket that will fit on top of that right there. And then you're going to push that back through. So the then end. once you're all done with that, you can take a uh, scotch Bright pad and spray it down a little bit with your uh, penetrating or even some WD-40. Do the same thing. And then what you're going to do is just go in here and just kind of clean out the area and then you are ready to put the new ones in so if you have suggestions for upcoming videos or have something you'd like to see comment below uh -huh.